You want to put the dogs up here? Sure. Hey. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. How are you all doing this morning? Uh, how have you been doing these past couple months? It's been a while since we've talked to each other. And uh, I took a little break. We've been slacking this summer on our video editing, but we have been doing some filming. I've got a list here of things we've been doing. Uh, like I said, we've filmed a little, but we haven't done much editing. Uh, I tell you what, guys, it is so hard for me when it's a beautiful morning like this morning to sit inside at a computer and edit all day long when there's work to be done outside and it's beautiful like this outside. So I've been slacking. What can I say? Um, a lot of you have reached out with some concerns. All is great this way. Everybody's healthy and happy. And um, we really appreciate you guys reaching out. And we appreciate that you're still here to watch after, what has it been, three months? But anyways, we're back and we're ready to go. Just gonna look at my list here. The first thing on the list, we've been mowing a lot. Uh, Cannon and I have really taken pride in making sure our field edges and the ditches, everything around the fields and around the farm uh, looks good this summer. Um, so we've been doing a lot of mowing. It feels like we mow every day. So it feels like the mowing is nonstop, but um, we both enjoy mowing. So we don't mind doing it. Um, we also applied 28 to all of our corn. For those of you who don't know what 28% is, it's 28% nitrogen, which is what the corn needs to thrive. Um, you'll see a lot of the times people switching from beans to corn back to beans. And that's because the beans, the soybeans actually provide the ground with nitrogen. So like in a field like this one, we usually do corn after corn in this field. So this field does not see soybeans. So we have to apply extra nitrogen to this field compared to a field that would have beans and then corn. But we still apply nitrogen to everything. So all of our corn, um, we applied 28. Um, Johnny helped us with that. Johnny is always a big help and we really appreciate all of Johnny's help. So thank you, Johnny. Um, and also in this field, there's a lot of tile in this field. Uh, for those of you who don't know what that is, it's um, underground plumbing, drainage. Um, there used to be a big um, area in this field that we couldn't plant until we fixed it with the tile and that just allows drainage in this field. So um, we've had a couple blowouts, as you'd say. Some of the tile in this field is really old. So sometimes it just doesn't hold up. They used to use clay tile. So there's a lot of clay tile in this field. And we've slowly been working on replacing it with what they use plastic now. Dad's statue is put up in its permanent spot. We did that June 15th. Um, we had a little bit of a dedication and it was amazing. There were so many people that turned up. Um, we had no idea the turnout it was gonna get and so many people came and supported and showed their love for dad and it was awesome. Um, it's kind of weird driving by and seeing dad because we drive through West Liberty almost every day and there's just a statue of my dad right there which is kind of weird but I'm slowly getting used to it. Uh, every time I drive by, hey how's it going? Hi dad. But um, well deserved. Uh, it's crazy. I always think about that song where it's, what's it, what's it say, Cannon? <laughs> well, I don't know what it is. But anyways, I always think of that song and I'm like, wow, my dad has a statue in our hometown. So it's really cool. Very well deserved. Um, he's the most amazing man I've ever met in my lifetime. And I'm just lucky enough that he was my father. So um, look up to him a lot. He never goes unappreciated. And um, as you all know, we all miss him so much. Um, it's been a little tough. We are coming up on about uh, two years since his passing. I think that'll be, what, the 21st of this month. September 21st will mark two years. So um, yeah, right when we're gearing up for harvest. So there's a lot going on, a lot of emotions, but there's nothing else I'd, be, I'd rather be doing. I mean. Um, to be able to fill his shoes and carry on his legacy is like a dream come true. And I'm so happy um, to be able to do that, um, both myself and Cannon and mom. So yeah, 
statue's awesome. Uh, it's on the south side of West Liberty as you're coming out of town, right across the bridge. Um, we own both of those fields on the side of where the statue is and on the other side. So it's cool. He's looking out over his crops. So it's perfect. And we couldn't thank everybody involved enough. We couldn't thank everybody um, who sponsored the statue. We couldn't thank Mike Major enough and everybody who helped in his crew, uh, Dave Greenlee, everybody. So um, thank you guys for all your support in that project. Uh, it's, it's amazing. I am at a loss of words. It's amazing. So, um, to this day, the video that gets the most comments on my channel is, um, when we sprayed this field here with the airplane. That video was such a hit and I can't say that I was hoping that we were going to spray this year with the airplane, but I kind of was because it's so much fun. And last year when we were talking to the pilot, he said that they actually have a spray plane with a buddy seat. So if we um, contacted them early enough, they could get us that and I could actually take a ride in the plane, which I don't know if I want to because those pilots are crazy, but it would have been so much fun. It would have been a great video. But with the corn prices the way they are this year, thankfully we did not have to spray any of our fields uh, with fungicide. Um, Tom and John did have a couple fields that they had to spray, but um, they actually used a drone this year. Uh, when they did that, we were actually out of town, so we didn't get any video of that, but I'm sure you guys have seen it. Um, it's really cool. It's very futuristic, but um, they did have to spray a couple fields with fungicide, and um, I don't think we've used a drone yet on our farm. So um, yeah, that was really cool. But while we're on the topic of crops, we're in a pretty bad drought right now. Um, it came late. We're very thankful for that. But um, I don't think it's going to affect our corn. Our corn looks great. It's dying off. It's drying out very fast this year, obviously due to the drought. But <clears throat> it might affect our beans a little bit. Uh, I talked to Johnny. He said in some of their fields, the top pods, don't really have any beans in them and that's because they come later and they were hit by the drought but what they say it's been like eight weeks since we've seen rain i don't think we've seen rain since the champaign county fair which was the beginning of august so it's been very dry um haven't been doing much mowing since it's been dry so that's a nice little break but um harvest is coming up so fast um Everything's drying out and dying off quicker than what we expected. So everybody's gearing up and getting ready for um, that big time of the year. Grandpa and Johnny and John and Uncle Matt, they've all been um, working on the combine and working at the farm, getting everything set up and geared up for harvest. So we're we just, raring to go. We are so excited. We just got our bins in. Um, Cannon and I just Monday, I think it was, of this week, took our last load of corn. Uh, we just emptied out all of our bins, just in time too. Uh, we had a little bit of a catastrophe, um, emptying out our second to last bin. Uh, you guys will probably see that in the next video, but we had a little, little bit of trouble there. But we got it all figured out, so um, unloading the grain bin took a little bit longer than what we had expected, but we are finished. Everything's empty. Everything's cleaned out. Everything's sprayed. Everything's closed up and ready for this year's crop, which is always a great feeling. Uh, but we are so excited. The crops have looked great all summer. Um, really, we've had a great season. Uh, we've had some dry spells, but it seems like they're always followed up by a good rain. So, um, yeah, the crops look great. Last year, we didn't start running until uh, like October 3rd or something like that. And today is September 11th and there's fields that are finished. So um, it's early this year, but at least we don't have a wedding this year. <laughs> it would suck if this was last year and we had a wedding on the 23rd, but yeah. That's another thing. Our anniversary is approaching. That's so exciting. <laughs> We're still both surviving. But um, 
Uh, I expect us to start harvesting very soon. So of course you guys will see videos of that. Um, best time of the year by far. Um, the most rewarding time of the year. I have never in my life considered how stressful farming is because there's so many decisions to make and so many decisions are make or break and you don't really know the right answer until you do it and you just figure it out. So just like when we decided not to spray this year, it, we thought long and hard about it because I mean, you never know your, your crop could get a disease and it could take out the whole field just like that. And I mean, you wouldn't, you wouldn't know it. So just seeing the crops thrive and then having the privilege to be able to um, take them down, see your yields, see your profit and um, how those decisions you've made paid off is so rewarding and so worth it spend all year stressing, then you get to harvest. And if you're lucky, then it all pays off. But um, I wouldn't want to do anything else. So I am so happy. It does not go unappreciated that we are in the spot we are in to be able to do what we love every single day. We know how blessed we are. We know the people who have fought for us to be here. And we are so very thankful for that. So I think that's everything farm related. Um, but last but certainly not least, Cannon. <laughs> you guys coming out? Benny, you coming? Now you gotta make room for me. <laughs> Ow. So, Cannon and I are having a baby! Yeah. <laughs> um, in some of those clips you guys saw earlier in the video, you might have seen a little bit of a bump. That's because I am actually 23 weeks. Um, so, over halfway. We are due January 10th. And we are so excited. Uh, it's almost perfect timing because I feel great. It's time for harvest. I'm still feeling pretty good. Uh, come Christmas time is probably when I'll be I'll be feeling it. I'll be feeling big, but I don't have anything to worry about in the winter time. <laughs> but yes, Cannon and I are having a baby. Uh, we are not finding out the gender. We're waiting for the surprise. Um, Dad always told me there's no greater surprise in the world. So of course we're going to wait. And um, some people like that. Some people don't. Um, a lot of family is um, very eager to know the sex, but we are going to wait and we are so excited. It's good that we're both on the same page because I feel like a lot of times it's hard to get both sides um, willing to wait. But um, when we went in for one of our ultrasounds, our 20 week anatomy scan, um, they were like, okay, if you don't want to know the gender, look away. And it was so tempting for us. We wanted to look so bad. That's the hardest moment right yeah. there so far for me yeah because um all of the doctors know but we do not and we can't get on our my chart either because it's on there yeah we can't log into anything we're doing everything we can we're just hoping that the doctors don't uh slip up and say he or she um but we did have a doctor she said um if you don't want to know the gender i don't want to know the gender so i don't know but i tend to say he so if if they slip up and they say he or she, we're not going to take any um, concern in it because um, I know I know it's easier to say he or she than it. Uh, we struggle sometimes. We just try to say baby. But um, we are so excited. We couldn't be happier. We could not wait to share with you guys. Um, it's That's been another reason why we haven't been posting because, of course, you had to tell the family and um, get all that stuff sorted out. And we could not wait to share with you guys. So... Um, the word is out. And everybody thinks, you know, well, they want to know what the heartbeat is because then it's a boy or a girl. And they want to see how she's carrying it because if it's high, it's one. And if it's low, it's another. And so we kind of think we know, but we don't know. Yeah, so. a lot of people look at me right now instantly say, oh, it's a boy. <laughs> so we'll see. Um, we're just, we're hoping for a happy and healthy baby. So, um... Like I said, we could not wait to tell you guys. 
I'm glad the news is out. We are so excited for harvest. And um, we are just all around blessed. Uh, we couldn't thank you guys enough for sticking with us. Um, I can't wait to hear from you guys. Uh, leave a comment and tell us what you've been up to. Um, so what should we name it? <laughs> yeah, we do need baby names. We like the old style names. So send us all of your grandparents and great grandparents and great great grandparents' names because um, that's the style we're sort of looking for. Um, but yeah, we are so excited. Like I said, I cannot thank you guys enough for sticking with us. Um, we've been slacking, that's all on us, but you guys have not. I see it in the comments. You guys are still here and still eager to hear from us and I cannot tell you how much we appreciate that. So um, I think that's it. Do you have anything? No, let's get back to it. Yep, with that being said, um, we might start a little bit softer this time. I think we're just going to post for on Saturdays for now. Um, like I said, we're getting into baby season. So it's going to be kind of weird sort of figuring out the filming and the farming and the pregnancy the and dogs all of aren't it together. Know what to do. You guys might see more of Canon. So if you can just <laughs> deal with that for a couple more months. Deal with the red crocs for yeah. a couple more months. At least it'll be winter. They won't see those. Well, they do make the ones with uh, the fur. The fur, you know. <laughs> Might have to break them out. But anyways, we are so glad to be back. We're so glad you guys are still here. And um, I think that's it. So we will see you guys on the next one. Thank you. We appreciate you. I cannot say it enough. But thank you guys so much, and we'll catch you on the next video. That was real nice. <laughs>